Hello, my amazing geometry students. It is Miss Clark here from my home on location. Uh, wanting to talk to you today, introducing you to our new topic, Parallel and Perpendicular Lines. Uh, we will be encountering many vocabulary words this chapter, so what I want you to do is go ahead and get started on your vocabulary diagram sheets, start recording some definitions, start looking at your pictures, and you definitely want to have some good diagrams for these. It's really going to help you to study well and to uh, get that vocabulary deep within you, and you want to be able to use it elsewhere in the world. So what I wanted to do in this video is just to kind of introduce you to places that you will see parallel and perpendicular lines and believe it or not right in our own home you're going to see a lot of those and we'll talk a little bit more about that at the end of the actual video and in class tomorrow and throughout our time together so take a few minutes watch record think all right and see if you can talk with me about this tomorrow and let me remind you as you're walking through and seeing these pictures of my home with me, uh, as you're standing tall, that is you as a vertical line. As you're laying in your bed, that's the position of you in a horizontal line. If you look, I'm sure you have windows and window panes around your house. It's hard to find many examples, and you see as they're meeting at right angles, that's what makes them perpendicular. Notice in this picture frame, you'll see, yes, my beautiful children when they were very small, but you will see that it meets at right angles, and as they meet at right angles, it forces the opposite sides to be parallel. Look at this shelving. I know you have something like this somewhere in your home, either in the bookshelf, in the cabinet, uh, somewhere that you see shelving. Carpenters really want to make sure these are always meeting at 90 degree angles. Yes, even in my music room, you will find parallel lines. Notice the keys on the keyboard. Notice the music, the sheet music itself. And here's a screen door walking out my home. You see many vertical lines here. You also see horizontal. Do you remember which way it is if you're laying in bed? Yeah, you're in a horizontal position then. Standing up's vertical. And here we go outside and you'll see the flag. And yes, notice the red stripes are parallel to each other. The white stripes are parallel to each other. But can you tell me what's perpendicular? Be ready to talk to me about that. And there you have it, guys. Just a very brief introduction into parallel and perpendicular lines. We'll talk more in class about our other purposes and what else we're going to be doing with this lesson. So make sure you look over your vocabulary. Definitely want to talk to you about it tomorrow. You guys have a good night. See you then. Bye.